Hi there. I just read some really shocking information and I just thought I'd share it with you today. Um, the Association of Accounting Technicians in the United Kingdom back in 2018 did a survey of people working in in the United Kingdom and also they did some calculations that you would do as actuaries etc. And one of the things that they came across is that you know, the average person in the United Kingdom works about 35 years. Uh, that's just on average. Um, now, you have to take into this that during that time period, they have traveled 994,192 uh, miles, and that comes to... 151,587 kilometers in their working life that's going to and from work. That accumulates about 14,053 hours. That's an awful lot when you consider you're going back and forth to work. Also, they found that in company expenses, the average employee in the United Kingdom claims uh, 134,248 pounds. Now, for everybody else in the world, let's just translate that into U.S. dollars. That's 165,453 U.S. dollars is what they've claimed over that 35 years in employee expenses. Now... The average employee in the United Kingdom engages in 812 arguments during the lifetime that they are working. <laughs> I, I never even thought of how, how they calculated that. But, yeah, that's interesting to me. The other thing is, is tea and coffee. They found that the average employee will brew tea and coffee for their colleagues 7,967 times <laughs> during the course of their career. <laughs> now, here's the other thing that I found interesting. The average employee has six office romances during the life of their uh, time working with other people in business. Now, Come on, let's be honest. You know, it's probably counting all the young guys and girls that go out and meet each other at work and then they go out and have some fun together discovering whether they like each other or not. But that is what they consider the office romances most likely. Now, let's take a look at what's happened since this COVID-19 thing has happened and it's kind of shut down people everywhere. Now, again, these are United Kingdom statistics. So where you live is most likely going to be different. But to me, it is shocking. Okay, so here we are, COVID-19. Since the shutdown in uh, March of 2000, uh, 2020, in the United Kingdom, unemployment has had a 126% increase with 2.6 million people making new claims for unemployment during that time period. Now, this number is the highest amount of unemployment that the United Kingdom has had in over a 100 years. But it's going to get worse, folks, because this does not include the people who've been made redundant. Because when a person's made redundant, they get nine weeks of continued pay, and then they get a lump sum. And they cannot apply for unemployment benefit until they have received that final paycheck and they are no longer an employee of the company. So, this number is probably in the next 90 days going to skyrocket again to an unbelievable amount. And all those people out there are going to be out either looking for jobs or for other opportunities. And you know, there are opportunities everywhere if you look. Thank you.